Now we're up to C6. C6 is actually only seven pieces. We've got a corner section here and then this center section here. So what the assembly is going to be is I'm going to baste these two pieces, attach them, and then put them in here. The trick that's going to be to make sure that everything lines up properly. So the basting is pretty straightforward. On these corner pieces, I'm going to glue baste these tiny short sides first, then these longer sides, and then I'm going to notch this in two places and glue baste that over. These are going to be gathering stitch basted, and these are going to be glue basted on the straight edges, notched, I think, two or three places, depending on how it goes, we'll see and glued, glued down from that standpoint. So this is the only one that's gonna have some sewing to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and base the center section and one of the corner sections. Got the center basted. I've used two notches on each side. So this is what it should look like. And I've basted these two corner pieces. Next thing I'm gonna do is put these together in a pair and then I'll be able to go and do the other three corners. I got all the corners assembled now, and now we're gonna attach it here. I'm gonna start on one corner and line this up. I'm gonna go to about here, tie off, and then I'll be able to line this up because this curve is a little funky, so I gotta make sure I line it up correctly on each one. So let me get a couple of these attached. So I got one corner attached I had to uh, use my orange thread on this orange on orange section because the two black stitches were showing really badly. But um, moving forward to the next ones, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that orange and I'm just going to attach that here and here. So then I'll have the ends attached and I can work this in. Part of the problem is the fact that some of this football wants to go underneath the other layer. This one's kind of like that. That's fine because once the papers are out, it's not gonna matter. Just make sure that you do your best to get to the absolute edge, to the absolute edge of this. So that way when it does come out, it does settle in better and it looks like the same size. It's real easy to grow that if you're not real careful about your stitch placement. So let me go ahead and keep moving here. So I've got all four of my corners attached. And uh, it, it does have a little bit of a bowl shape, but that will settle down once I get papers out. Next thing I'm gonna do is take out my basting. So I've taken out my basting, and when I put these together, I tend to leave way too much seam allowance because I wanna make sure I have plenty to maneuver with the gathering stitch. So I did trim these back. This one I trimmed way too short, but it might be, it should be okay. But um, in the meantime, my uh, C6 block is now completed.